Oh, hallelujah. Papa, we bless you so much. We adore you, we honor you, we give you all the glory. Papa, there is none like unto you, O God. We bless your wonderful name. Who we'll never cease praising you, O God. You are so good and your mercies endure, endure it forever. Thank you so, so much, O God, for our health. We thank you for your protection. We thank you for your deliverance. We thank you for your healing touch. We thank you, O God, for your provision. Thank you once again, Father, we commit ourselves into your care. For without you, we can do nothing. We pray that you lead and guide us, O God, through this life, so that all the days of our lives, O God, will serve you to the end. We pray for strength to endure all that is going on in the world. We pray for healing, O God, healing. We pray for total healing, O God. O God, we also pray for those who are mourning. We pray, O God, for the sick. We pray, O God, for the desolate. We pray, O God, for food, shelter, and clothing, even water for people who are suffering. This is a humble prayer. We pray for travelers. Father, have your way. Have your way. That even as we stand in the gap, O God, for everyone in the nation, we pray that you have your way. Father, we pray that as we pray for nations, you will touch our hearts as well. And we know that when an individual is changed, it affects the nation. Thank you so, so much that you are more than a God we even know. Thank you, Jesus. Brethren in the Lord, I welcome you to the program. How do you understand the word of God? And let's remember that Jesus is coming again. And it is very soon. Hallelujah. We'll take our devotional reading from Isaiah chapter 60, verses 1 and 2. And then we'll continue also from 18. Isaiah let's hear the word of god arise jerusalem let your light shine for all to see for the glory of the lord rises to shine on you darkness as black as night covers all the nations of the earth but the glory of the lord rises and appears over you hallelujah and so we see that as the bible addresses jerusalem the bible is addressing the people of god it says that we should arise and shine for the our light has come and he says that the glory of the lord also rises up and, sh and to shine upon us the nations are walking in darkness and we are in the nation wherever every nation every nation you find people of god but the bible is addressing us here that Although that there is darkness, there is there is night, there is darkness that is covering the nations of the earth. The glory of the Lord rises and appears unto us. And so we may be dwelling in the nation, but the light of the Lord is upon us. So the funny king in Anna said, As somebody says, sorry, not showing. No 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 yanko pwenye o nyama ashwen wo so. E wamo se. E suma kate wya su su diye nan so nyami yo ni mne ma. Ne nyo nyam ashwen e wo ni ma so. Hallelujah. E non ti. Oda fwo. E mwa mwa wo hon en kani biya re biya ra. Ne mwa mwa kaniya. E ni nyami ya sa mwa ek e shia. Se di e suma kate wya si. Ya re dom a kate wya si sui. Ya diye. Ya ni da so ni se yam. Yesu Christo man tan piem ni nya ya ya resente no ye be so afre no na ono anso no be san ya ya re ye enti be Yesu fre ni mpa ya hodo ya bo afa ya redom ho bi onyame wetie ni akoso bi anche chire bi anka nka sa afi ko na wie ye onyame tumufo no ye ka so ma na basa so ye jina na sam so bo mpa ya otie ye all i'm saying is that may the lord himself empower us to overcome the enemy even as the year is going to an end 
We pray that his glory that is shining will shine upon us all the days of our lives. Hallelujah. We continue from verse 18. Violence will disappear from your land. The desolation and destruction of war will end. Salvation will surround you like city walls. And praise will be on the lips of all who enter there. And so we see that as children of God, all that we're going through today, violence here and there, desolation and destruction of war, the Bible says that they will all end. And I believe it will end in the lives of God's people. Because we know that we are in this world, but we are not of this world. Other four, the Bible train said, no longer will you need the sun to shine by day nor the moon to give its light by night. For the Lord your God will be your everlasting light. Hallelujah. And your God will be your glory. And it's a baby verse one. O nyanko pon. As I see so dear e wo ho. Ba mi dia mi jidi se. E ni o nyama e be re mo wa bra ye fra sa si so no. O nyanko pon kwa no obe ye ye hain. A fi e nye e ria wo ya sin ye be she biom. Ne mo nyanko pon ni o nyamo no. All that I'm saying is that although the Bible was talking to Jerusalem, to Israel about coming out from captivity and then coming out from uh, disasters that they were facing, but I believe also that it is also talking about when we leave this earth, this earth that is full of destruction, and that the sun will no longer be our light, but the glory of God will be our light. So it starts from the earth, from this earth, and we take it to heaven. Because in this earth, or on this earth, there is darkness covering the earth though. But the glory of the Lord is upon us. His light shines wherever the darkness is. Hallelujah. Or wherever darkness is. And so we see here that as children of God, we enjoy the glory of God both on earth and in heaven. We only need to submit to Him. And it is also Nyamia Nyo Nyam no Kamwa Samono. Yes, so be sure as I see so. Nayakotua so I was so. And no tea. O Nyankopono ya da da a hino. Or say a baby baba o so near your hoi na a subi trap. Na any pa ye from one who tear for no more, and on your cup of the mom as a sinady. A son say, On your me, or say, Obey Dria, then crop for a one, sir, see be so a ho, and the abehun yam 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 yam. And sir, see on your me, see, see, dear man and ma, a hono bedria, and if you and yammy bedria yam be a h, I say, Yes, send yammy. Nipe any na quintre, I will hosa warium no di we ra. Yami penny saying, Oh, warium say ya, as a fumon say ye, a cuum pie boco, and I be be a yami do a codre biano. Miss and yami say, Me jimmy dear potty, a semi di, and in your way. All that I'm saying is that wherever the Lord will plant you, ask for the guidance of the Lord, hallelujah, so that his glory will be seen in that place. The smallest family will become a thousand people and the tiniest group will become a mighty nation. At the right time, I, the Lord, will make it happen. Hallelujah. We know that our God makes all things beautiful in his own time. And he says that, if, don't even think about it if you are a small family. You become a thousand people. And don't think about it if you are tiny. He'll make you a group of mighty nation. And so God makes the impossibility possible. Other for ni ni pa fe mo enye enye ye no. Eno ro nyame ma ni ye ye. Eno nti ni e kenyi na ni so nyame se ono die. Ebusu ya ye ketu akra no be mo ma ye pimpim. 
ne busian so a eye busian kitu ebi no omo so so obeyo mo aman akese akese o si ewrade mre no so a obema abe mu ene ti die no nyame aka fa wo ho ana se die no abo ho mpa ya eye o se die nyankopon ontie eye o se die nyankopon o o o hu sa wo ye ne ba e brini ni na bia nso ni se o se ono ne bre no so a obema ni nyina abe mpepepe e dia she ni die no nyam god say that when the right time comes for him to do all these things he would he'll make it happen but that don't help us to trust in him and his word that whatever he says will take it personal will take we take it as the truth that there is nothing before it or behind it nothing can be added to it what the lord has said that will surely come to pass god richly bless you if jesus has not come today we we'll meet on monday we we'll meet on monday for how do you understand the word of god but tomorrow that is for the weekend inspiration to we'll have it hallelujah so we'll inspire ourselves may god richly bless us all have a fruitful weekend bye bye